Good morning and welcome to the Parkinson's Foundation 2018 Caregiver Summit, Cumbre para Cutidores. I'm Lisa Hoffman and I'm the Associate Director of Professional Education. And on behalf of the Parkinson's Foundation and our planning committee, we welcome you to a very special day, a day devoted to you, the caregiver. We're focused on collaborative care. This day is intended to address your concerns, your hopes, and your curiosity on aspects of caring for someone with Parkinson's. And this is a very unique day for us. This is our first bilingual summit. We are broadcasting in English and in Spanish around the nation and indeed the globe. I'd like to give a shout out to the many satellite locations we have viewing in live around the country. We have, are you ready for this? Columbus, Ohio, Fargo, North Dakota, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In Kansas, we have Lenexa and Manhattan. In Minnesota, Eden Prairie and St. Paul. In California, hello to Red Redwood City, Irvine and San Diego. Greetings to New York, Rochester, Syracuse and Williamsville. And to Florida, Jacksonville, Boca Raton, St. Petersburg and Tampa. And viewing parties, those who are viewing online and just popped up with, uh, with an idea, let's get together and watch this all together. In Boston, Massachusetts, Burlington, North Carolina, Westminster, Maryland, and three in Danbury, Ohio. And what's very exciting is that we have viewing parties from Central and South America. Hello to the Dominican Republic, to El Salvador, Argentina, to Mexico, to Colombia, to Peru, to Chile, to Puerto Rico, and to Ecuador. We're so thrilled that you could join us today. And now we'd like to share with you a video that we did highlighting Caregiver Awareness Month. Caring is. My name is Mary Padilla. I'm also known as Mia Padilla. I've been married to Hector for 40 years. My best decision has been uh, to marry Mary, to be with Mary. Uh, I've been very happy with her and looking forward to many, many more years of uh, happiness. Well, my first symptoms were, while I was still working, was my inability to write. Like, there were days that I said, what's wrong with my hand? And I thought it was something cardiac for some reason. Then, my son noticed that I was eating slower. To me, uh, at the beginning, uh, it was kind of strange to see Mary's behavior. Uh, it was different. Mary was a very live person, uh, multitask individual. And all of a sudden, she looked sad. She looked like overwhelmed and things that she uh, normally did without any difficulty. And uh, she started getting very slow. If you decide to provide care for somebody, uh, you should do it, you know, with all your strength, with all your might, with all your desire, because uh, the person needs care and you have to give that person that care. We have to do this together, you know. It's, uh, I hit harder with my fists closed rather than with my hands open. So Parkinson, the foundation, what it's done is it's brought us all together and that makes us stronger. In the moment we didn't know what to do, then we, we started saying, let's, let's start reading on this, let's study this situation, let's get help, let's see how we could deal with this. And that's when we started, you know, getting very active in finding a doctor, learning more about it uh, and talking to people that had Parkinson as well to understand what they went through to see if what we were going through was the same thing. And uh, that's how we started getting involved with Parkinson and trying to defeat it. So we've gone to the, uh, the website of Parkinson Foundation 
we've been coached by people that have had this experience previously and uh, they've given us a lot of information. Uh, I retired a year before I was supposed to basically to take care of Mary and uh, uh, so far I've been committed to that and I will continue to be committed to that. As they say, for better or for worse, you know, we're here for her. Getting to know other Parkinson patients and hearing them share their experiences with you and you sharing your experiences with them, that is also very beneficial. The most important thing in, in helping Mary is just being there for her. CEO of the Parkinson's Foundation, Mr. John Lear. Good morning, everyone. Um, that was a terrific uh, video, and we're grateful to Hector and Mary for uh, agreeing to do that. Um, so uh, this is wonderful. I mean, I, I love to stand up on the stage and look out at the audience and see so many people who are energized and who are here. Um, it's just a tremendous uh, showing, and that's just in this room. It's not even talking about all the people who are out on satellite. So it's just terrific, and so thank you to everybody. Um, we're very excited for the Parkinson's Foundation 2018 Caregiver Summit. This live event is one of many that the foundation is taking to address the needs of caregivers and people living with Parkinson's disease. For the first ta time ever, as Lisa just mentioned, we are live streaming today's program in both English and in Spanish to participants around the world. The list last night of people who were doing viewing parties was growing and growing and growing, so you could feel the momentum and the excitement, so we're really delighted for that. Um, we hope that today, whether in Phoenix or at one of our 18 satellite locations worldwide, you will be able to share your caregiver experiences and strategies, build your caregiving confidence, and find strength in the knowledge that you are not alone. We are not alone. We're all together. And I think that was the point Hector was making. We recognize that the Parkinson's, or the Parkinson's disease impact, impacts your lives as caregivers as well as your loved ones. Today's program is focused on collaborative care to help you learn ways to incorporate care of yourself um, into the care you give to your loved ones. It's important that you take care of yourself. I think we all recognize that. We, are also, we also hope that you will collaborate with us in the many programs we offer to make life better for you and for your loved one. We have gathered together here um, some of the top caregiving experts in the world to help you navigate your journey in caring for someone with Parkinson's disease. The sessions will provide you with a wealth of knowledge to draw on your strengths as a caregiver uh, as it changes over time. And we know that you know, one, day is no, 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 one day is not like every other day. Um, we encourage you to share uh, these tools with fellow caregivers uh, when you get back home and to stay engaged with the foundation after this event. Um, our toll-free uh, helpline, 1-800-4-PD-INFO, that's 800-4-PD-INFO, is staffed by specialists, and we've just expanded our hours, so we're open uh, during business hours, east coast to west coast, and they are there to help you uh, in your journey. We have a wide variety of resources, including publications, videos, and caregiving tips to make your life easier on our website, Parkinson. Org. Parkinson's no apostrophe nest, no s dot org. Caregivers are often the unsung heroes, as I think we all know. Thank you for taking the time today uh, to join us at the Parkinson's Foundation community. Remember, as I said earlier, you are not alone. We are here to help you. All of us are here to help each other. Finally, I just would like to acknowledge our presenting sponsor, Acadia Pharmaceuticals, who are sitting over here. Hello, Acadia. Thank you very much for your incredibly generous support of this event. Um, without it, we wouldn't be able to do all the things that we're doing. So a big round of applause for Acadia. And so with that, I'll uh, turn it back over to Lisa. And enjoy the summit. We're delighted you're here. Thank you very much.